I should be able to go to dial tone. Okay, I have dial tone. So now the next question is, can I dial out? Hello, this is Michael with Field Tech Academy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a portion of a service call that I did where I was training a technician on troubleshooting dial tone and using a 66 block using a butt set. thought it might be educational to show those of you who may not be as familiar with telephony and 66 blocks, things like that, what the process is that I went through on this call to try to troubleshoot the dial tone. Let's get into it. And I should be able to go to dial tone. Okay, I have dial tone. So now the next question is, can I dial out? And you're always listening for, like if you, if you straight dial, you know, and it doesn't go, then you might have dial nine to get out, you know, different things like that. So I could theoretically plug my butt set and to show you this, instead of using my alligator clips, I can use the regular RJ11 on one end and RJ11 on this end. Now, even though this is RJ45, an RJ11 plug will go into it because it's going to touch the center pins and foam biscuits and foam ends use the center pins, the center two pins. Even though this is not RJ45 and this is, it will still work. There's always a pair, so it's always two conductors. And you also can look in here and see, like right here is where the conductors are. So I know that it's going to be this one and this one. So I'm going to put one angling up. Okay, there we go. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get on there. And then the one directly underneath it. Okay. So if this line was good, now of course, you want to make sure that you're on your alligator clips and not this. Now the other thing you can do, you don't have to actually hard clip it. You can literally go like, just hold them solid, just make sure you're not crossing them over. And you can just walk up and down the block anywhere you see pairs coming in. And of course it's every two. So you want to make sure if you're doing it out here in the middle that you're correctly, you know, like you, you can see which two pair you're supposed to be on. Now, I've literally not found any dial tone yet. And you can go on this mid left pair or the far left pair. Cause again, they're the same thing because it's a U shape. So we know this is our source cabling because we verified we had dial tone on this side and we did not have dial tone when we unplugged this. So what we need to try to do is figure out where these pairs go. And so they're, they're zip tied in here so we don't have any free movement, but that's obviously our set of pairs. So we're gonna try to trace these down. So they're coming down into the block area here. Okay, and these are going to, looks like they're going to the block. Okay, I do have dial tone there. So you can do this completely up and down, or you can come over to the one immediately to the right of it. That way you don't have to be as precise on top of each other. Okay, so I have dial tone. Ha, do you guys do network cabling? We got like 30 desks we need wired up. Do you guys do that? <laughs> I'm just testing. This is Michael. And the line sounds pretty clear, doesn't it? All right, So that's a clean line. I can dial out without a nine. You know, you're always looking for anything that's squirrely. We have dial tone here, but we don't have dial tone here. So something is causing us a problem. So that's, that's good. It gives us, you know, it's breadcrumbs. You're just taking it a piece at a time. And, and you can also unplug the internal wiring because sometimes you'll run in a situation where this is shorted out or messed up on the other end and it shorts it out here. Just to be sure. I may have done it on this one. I have dial tone. This is last number redial, so you just do that and it'll dial the same number again. And it is the same number, 0432. So we could have something on this cable shorting us out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to test for dial tone. This pair goes to the bottom. Okay, there I've got dial tone. Don't have dial tone coming out. This is that Jack I was telling you about for security systems that so this is the source from the phone company it comes into this pair and it's an eight conductor deal. And the idea is that this jack can seize control so that it doesn't go back out to the next in line. So it's almost acting like it seized the line. I'm curious. 
I have Dalton now. No dial tone. So I have dial tone coming from the telco. I have no dial tone here when this is plugged in. When this is out, I have dial tone. So when this is in, it's killing the dial tone. So it's clearly not letting it flow through the system. If you got value out of this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you're informed every time I upload something new. Check out my website at fieldtechacademy.com. I have a lot of downloads available for those of you who are on Field Nation and Work Market to help you flesh out your profile and make them stronger. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you need a little bit of help to kind of get to the next level in your independent field tech journey, then I'm here to help. I also have a client list on my website that is available. Most everybody knows about Field Nation and Work Market, but there are a lot of clients out there with whom you can go direct. They will call you and email you before anybody else to give you an opportunity to do service calls. As always, let's get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.